Good morning traders, it's the 4th of December 2015. This video is really all about the FX Argo Trader JFX series of products. Over the last few months we've been retuning and redeveloping our existing product suite so that uh, it uses a new JavaFX control interface for controlling underlying MT4 indicators. This chart here we have a Euro dollar alley chart and you can see we've got the MACD Turbo and the Daily Pivots version 3 standard MT4 products. So if you want to make changes to those products you have to go obviously into the indicator list, load up the external parameters and then you need to go through the external parameters list. So if you wanted to say change the color of the central pivot for the Daily Pivots version 3 system to say something like uh, black you can do so and you can see that a color change has been replicated there. So obviously very configurable but takes time to do this sort of stuff. You've got to go into each interface, say for example the MACD Turbo, you want to turn the histogram off underneath here, off you go, you've got to do that. And so that's the traditional way of controlling MT4 indicators by con configuring the external input parameters for each indicator on each chart and so what we've done is we've taken this to a different level so this chart here uh, uses the JavaFX tools and actually for like like for like comparisons what I'm going to do is I'm just going to that's the triple moving average crossover system I'm going to load up the daily pivots version 3 JFX system on here And now you can see the pivots, similar to exactly the same sort of thing we had before. But the big difference is I can now control these pivots and also the MACD using this interface. So I just go into the Daily Pivots version 3 interface here. And this is the JFX control interface. And you can now see, if I click on the chart, the actual chart ID and reference number come up here in this selected chart box. I can, con I can change and configure any parameter I want using this interface for really quickly. So in the case of that line color for the central pivot, if I want to make that black, you see there I just turned it to black. I can also set alert channels around the central pivot if I want to, so that when price action comes within a specific range of this channel, then you'll get an alert. I can change the actual size of that channel, so I can make it, say, 25 pips wide, like that. And I can also change the channel length there. I've just got an alert daily pivot. Bid is within 25 pips of the central pivot. This is also the new Java based alert system. So much more granular and informative than the standard MT4 pop ups. You can see all your alert is stacked up on, across all the different charts and all the different time frames, etc., that you're running the system on. Uh, in the same way, if I want to control the underlying. MACD Turbo indicator. Same thing happens, the chart ID is automatically loaded. You notice I haven't actually got the MACD line because it's in white, so I might want to change that to black. And now we can see the MACD line. I can then remove the histogram, show the histogram, configure the alert system appropriately, select alert sounds from any sounds folder, any WAV file on your machine. It's not restricted to the MT4 sounds folder, although in this case I will pick one up from the sounds folder because that's why I do have a lot of my sounds and so on. So much, much quicker to control underlying indicators, but it doesn't stop there. It gets better than that. So one thing that you will find with standard MT4 is the configuration you've got across all the different time frames for an indicator or an expert advisor is the same. The only way that you can actually create a different configuration using this indicator in this case which is the standard uh, daily pivots version 3 FX Argo Trader tool is by loading another chart and that's kind of a bit clunky so what you can do with the JFX system so for example you wanted a different setup on the hourly you notice when I just click between the five minute dollar yen chart and the hourly you can see there's no alert channel around that central pivot and that's because 
every single time frame has got its own config. So I've just loaded up the hourly and you see here it's going dollar yen 60 minute and the chart ID. I can configure this hourly setup totally differently to any of the other time frames. So if I want to have, I don't know, let's say uh, a really thick central pivot and I will maybe want to make the line length of that central pivot uh, much longer over 100 periods. You can see that, that change is rippled. I might want to make it a ray. So we've got our central pivot now. But then if I go back to my M5 time frame, again, it's come up here, it's reconfigured our interface to show us the M5 settings, the alert channels popping up again, and so on. So you can see each time frame can have its com a completely different configuration. Uh, and that's the same for all the tools. So in the MACD instance, so on that hourly, we might want to create uh, the MACD, give the MACD a different colored histogram if you wish. So I've changed the histogram color there. And then if I go back to the M5, it's blue. So totally different configuration options based upon individual unique time frames. Another really cool thing about this is, let's say for example, you want to create a template an MT4 template. So let's save this template as I call it uh, MACD PIV. And as existing customers probably know, if you open up another chart and then you go to the templates, What sometimes used to happen in, in with standard MT4 based tools is if you loaded new products, then the license management system would be queried. With the Java FX based tools, the only time the license management gets queried is when the interface is initially loaded. The actual indicators themselves don't have any license management or database access. So in terms of performance and uh, lag time, all that kind of latency stuff, that all disappears completely. So yet again, another performance improvement with JavaFX or JFX set of tools. And what we have here is this little product catalog, which can be moved anywhere you want. It's got always on top visibility. So you can put it on another monitor if you want. In this Camtasia video, I'm only using uh, on this monitor, but I have got multiple monitors off screen. But for this purpose of the demo, I'll leave it visible. And Let's say, for example, I want to stick another indicator onto the system. So let's go for the twin, triple, moving average crossover. And now we've got that. We can configure that accordingly. Just go to alert, enable indicators, twin, triple, MA crossover. Chart ID comes up. And let's say I want to change the long-term moving average to, say, 100 periods. You see that change is rippled straight through immediately. So what we're effectively doing is developing a suite of tools which are all going to be JavaFX enabled and allowing traders to make extremely quick changes to the underlying parameters on their charts to give them far more granular alert history and take all the blood, sweat and tears out of parameter changes and controlling uh, of the underlying tools which you use on a daily basis. The key thing really with the, all the stuff is, is the alert enabled capabilities. All of the tools have got email alert capability. So in the actual system, you go to the email settings tab, and in here you can set up a Yahoo account, uh, obviously which is free, and then you just stick in the registered Yahoo email address, passwords, recipient email address, save those details, and then alerts will then be sent via email to that designated account. In terms of current products, which are JFX enabled, we have daily, weekly, and monthly pivots, which form the JFX pivot series. We've got daily Fibonacci pivots, quarterly rolling pivots, six month rolling pivots, predictive pivots, and we have a pivot confluence scanner as well. Uh, this is pretty cool, it's a brand new product. This is a service-based tool. It doesn't actually sit in MT4. 
um, so it's a completely separate standalone system and you can see here what it's doing is it's allowing us to basically scan uh, a trader defined set of currency pairs up to 21 and it's then deriving real-time confluence data and we can see here I have confluence levels these are all twin confluence levels you can see that level one level two these are the pivot levels and you can see the, the, the live spot price here and you can see the distance to the pivot that's how close price is to the pivot and if it's from red it means it's within our defined trigger zone so on this dollar yen uh, we have a pivot confluence between M1 and WM2 and that pivot proximity is 7 pips that means that M1 and WM2 are 7 pips from each other and we've got at the moment we've got a trigger level of 10 pips around that so as price is within 6 pips we're getting an alert if I turn the twin alert uh, system on um, and the alert interval set at 1 minute you can see here we've just been given an alert saying that price is within 7 pips of M1 and WM2 on dollar yen period is all because pivot confluence aren't specific to a time frame you can obviously see the trigger time here 7.13 and 57 seconds and obviously the date if we have an alert file, a sound file set up for that then that will be played in this case that alert file doesn't actually exist because it's uh, it's actually a, an XML file so if you want to have audio warnings on just click audio warnings and then if you, when you next get an alert what will happen is uh, the system will will alert you just saying that file can't be found uh, and I'll just show you that shortly that should come up in a second or two this um, data confluence window here needs to be always visible for the system to run so you can minimize it of course but that needs to be open for the alert system to run here's our our alert where I was talking about so let's just move that where we can see it audio file not found the audio file called blah 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 fxa blah 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 build xm it can't be located please check the file path so systems warning us that that's a problem so all I need to do is just change the twin alert sound to something which I can actually uh, which is a WAV file so let's just go to that sounds file I was talking about it can be anywhere on the machine so don't worry about that and we'll just give it a any old file and um, that's now configured and off we go so that's the pivot confluence scanner and other tools uh, let's just have a quick look at give you a quick overview of the uh, let's go for the three month rolling pivot system so I'll stick that on this chart as well okay so going to these these are much longer range pivots so you're going to see those basically being laid over on this normally if you go to a higher time frame it makes a bit more sense so you can see these are the quarterly rolling pivots applied to this chart this is uh, dollar yen weekly you can see how closely you get price reactions around these these levels look at that that was on the QR3 it's a pretty pretty extreme um, pivot but you got a huge rejection off that you saw price action come up test it almost pit perfectly and then you've got a, a 415 pit rejection from there similarly you can control this pivot system by going to the quarterly rolling pivots interface resize the windows to suit your requirements and you can see here we've got this dollar yen charts being automatically detected I can set alert channels around these pivot levels if I wish um, let's have a, uh, a channel width of say 100 you can see now if price action comes within 100 pips of the quarterly S1 support level we'll get an alert being triggered you need to give yourself a bit more room to maneuver on these longer time frames 50, 100 pip channel is a little bit extreme I mean you'd probably be looking at I don't know say 30 pips, cha 30 pip channel around there so if price action 30 to 50 pips if uh, price action comes within there you could then uh, receive an alert which would then 
give you the heads up and you could then start to monitor how price action behaved and if you started to see signs of rejection you could then basically jump on that and uh, and you'd be going along on from there so just a, a quick overview of the idea behind the JFX system all of the existing uh, standard MT4 products will be rolled out onto this system uh, in due course with all the pivot products are currently supported we have MACD Turbo triple MA crossover and the next one to go or the next ones to go will be the analytical tools however some of those may be purely java based so i may, may take them away from metatrader completely because a lot of them don't require uh, any um chart setups they're just they're just analytical and, and are providing data so uh making them platform independent kind of makes sense going forward as traders migrate to different trading platforms etc so hopefully that gives you a quick overview of the JavaFX systems we're developing. We're calling them the JFX series. You can find out all about them on the FX Algo Trader website, and which is www.fxalgotrader.com. And you can you go to the site, and you can go down to alert systems, and you can see we've got triple MA crossover here. and the MACD Turbo and with the, in the pivot systems all of these products are all JFX enabled now so um, you, you can uh, have a good look through those if you if you wish um, we are going to be rolling out the demos again shortly thanks very much for watching if you have any questions please don't hesitate to get in touch uh, email address is info at fxargotrader.com